side by side to the end. Five-year-old Shauna Flanagan Garway and her father Robert. The youngest victim of the explosion had been buying a birthday cake for her mom. She died in her dad's arms. A truly wonderful girl uh, who left a lasting impression on all she met. She loved her style. She was a girl with beautiful shiny shoes and fantastic coats. This isolated part of Ireland has had 10 funerals in the space of five days. Two teenagers who attended the same college were among the dead. Ireland's president has spent much of the week here. In a small community uh, where the relationships are so close and where people have intimate knowledge of families and circumstances, it isn't a single person or a family that carries the big lash of a terrible tragedy like this, uh, but it is the whole community. The village fell silent at 3.20 on Friday afternoon, exactly a week after the suspected gas explosion at this filling station. Their painful awareness of the fragility of life having been articulated by a 12-year-old who received a standing ovation at his father's funeral. I'd like to say that we should be grateful for your families, cherish them. Be grateful because they won't be there forever. So use up the time you have wisely. Also, be grateful for your life, because that too will not last forever. But be grateful, for you'll be able to rest after your hard work. Thank you. They've buried their dead, but life will never be the same here. Ten lives taken in a village of just 400 people. This corner of Ireland, known for its beauty, forever scarred by unimaginable loss. David Blevins, Sky News at Creaselock in County Donegal.